Howdy ho folks, Matt Stevens here. I buy old records, me and Jesse Lee. Heading on down to Austin, Texas. Oh my, big old historic city, et cetera, et cetera. Seat of Texas government. Who cares, I'm looking for records. Got a couple of leads down there. Gotta pop in and say hi to my friend uh, Alberto, who uh, is the tube electronics wizard. But also I'm going to pick up a marvelous couple of paper goods, a couple of Sun promotional photograph posters that were put in with 78s given to disc jockeys back in 1954. And they really are nice. Uh, I had one 30 years ago, foolishly sold it. And now I've got a chance to get uh, that one back and uh, another one of the issues. Howard Surratt and Earl Peterson. Well, all right, I dropped off a couple of records with Alberto. We didn't get to go into his shop because uh, we're social distancing and not going to make any sickness or troubles for people. Best to play it safe. But anyway, dropped those off, took about a minute. Now I'm on my way to look at a lot of 45 records that a civilian has and had advertised on social media. All right, we're just about there. I'll set a few minutes because I think he said to give about 10 minutes and it's been about six. I don't like to show up too early. Well, cool, it went through maybe a thousand records or so. I bought a few. This one by, it's kind of a bopper, Spanish, Chuck Berry thing. I don't know who Tom Dooley is, probably nothing good. But then I bought like 56 copies of I'm a Booty Bandit by Forrest Nelson. And it's got that beautiful ballad flip side. I want to test drive your body. You want a dollar a piece or so. I'll buy 50 copies of something if it looks interesting. And that, well, that looked interesting. Nice guy. Hopefully he'll holler at me sometime with more records. It's a, this is a soul record. Maybe it's kind of a sweet soul. But with the titles, I'm not sure how sweet it is. But I do know... I'm glad to have it. Okay, so we're navigating the hustle and bustle that is Austin. It's not near as trafficy as I'm used to it being, so that's good. Maybe I'll be out of here too when the uh, oh, when rush hour hits, because this can be a nightmare, especially for a yokel like me. Well, all right, grabbed a quick burger with Jesse here. Now we're going to uh, go pick up those two sun. Uh, biography promo pictures that went out to some lucky DJs back in 1954 for Earl Peterson and Howard Surratt. I have the two records on 45, but recently I found the uh, 78s sitting side by side in a stack of records, which was most welcome. So I'm going to go over here and pick those up. We're just going to have to do the social distancing thing. I'm going to pick up the records and run like hit. No, no, I'm going to leave the money in an envelope, which is a good way to do it. Well, this is cool. Made the exchange flawlessly, and now I've got a couple of great Sun Record things. This is number 197, and it's exclusive Sun Recording Artist Earl Peterson. Wasn't very exclusive. Not long after this, he jumped ship, broke his contract with Phillips, went and recorded the same song, Boogie Blues, for Columbia. And then went on pretty much to obscurity. But this is a great looking thing. Man. Quite marvelous. Notice it says Earl and Mom's Bass Lake Pavilion. Mom was the big, uh, in fact, there's Mom there on the horse. Mom was the driving force in Earl's life. She drove him to Sun, got him the audition, did everything. Number 198, written up in the corner. Wonder who wrote that? Do you think it was Phillips or Marion? Anyway, Howard Surratt, exclusive Sun recording artist. Wonderful record there with uh, some reverend from North Dakota. The Honorable Frank Clement, Governor of Tennessee. Howard on his crutches there, he was polio victim. He didn't let that get him down. Sam C. Phillips, grinning like a sly fox. Then a couple more things. Johnny Cash, exclusive Sun Artist picture. Look at that. 
That's pretty cool, isn't it? A very, very early pose. Exclusive Sun Artist, Johnny Cash. And then another early one. A little ragged for around the edges. I don't care. They're going to look good on the wall. We're on uh, secondary highways and such now. Or maybe not quite secondary, but it's not the dang interstate or the expressways. So uh, we're going to hit the small towns and such. I've noticed Jesse over there is starting to nod off. So as soon as he does, I'm getting out the Sharpie and we're drawing on his face. Well, it's a nice views and such out around this area. It's nice and hilly, kind of pretty. Not a thing to look at record-wise. I've never driven this stretch of road for some reason or another. I guess maybe I didn't miss anything at all by missing this road. Yay! Okay, here's a spot. Garage sale now. That's my one-stop thrift shop it says so that's the only one I need to make well I guess I can just call this episode finished because if it's the only one I make it's bound to be full of good records so let's just go over there and scoop them up well that wasn't honesty and advertising at all was it no it wasn't my one-stop place they didn't have records I'm not sure who I can go full Karen on and complain to but I need to Let's go look some more. We've only got about three more hours. Well, after driving through Pleasant Wilderness forever, it's been like three hours since I've got to stop and, well, two and a half since I got to stop and look at anything. Maybe, maybe here in this town we'll find something. Been a while anyway. Been a while since I've seen a record for sure. I've stopped at a couple of places. It's just nothing of any consequence so let's go to small town texas here i do remember finding things here in the past and by past i do mean 20 25 years ago arrive at gattisville arrive at gattisville that's it's called gatesville well i'm back in cell range everybody's dinging me everybody and their dogs well i say yeah is it open no no tisn't Dang it. Vape shop, I, I don't need that. Okay, that was a bunch of nothing in that town. So we're gonna check out the next little nothing towns. Then we're gonna get to Waco. Remember Waco? Oh my, a lot of weird stuff come out of Waco. Well, I found one place here in Tiny Town to go to. So let's go check it. Saw some LPs, no 45s yet. Unless I'm missing them, and I don't miss. Well, nothing at that place, but I've got another place west of, or east of town here. We'll go hit that if it's still around. Now, I think we've got a big antique place here. We'll see if that translates to big record finds and financial in insecurity or whatever. <sighs> Enjoying the guilty pleasure of a... Uh, Sonic Oreo milkshake. Oh my, that's good. Okay. We're walking, we're walking, we're looking. Nothing over there. Nah. Seems like there ought to be some records right around here. Yeah. picture sleeve records well I say a while but picture sleeves don't do a lot for me personally I'll sell the hell out of them if I need to though I always hate to see records in order with a lot of uh, named things and all I like them more to be random Neatness, I think, is a sign of a sick mind. Okay, no. Country hits. All right, we got some 78s. Hmm. 
We really set 78s on a shelf like that. Alright, nothing there. Stellar camera work for Jesse as always. About right here. That's booth number 78. They all have 78s. Jesse on the camera today. We're behind the camera. Uh, check that one out. Ooh, wish that thing had the cover to it. That'd be great. I may get it anyway. Delmore Brothers. Got some Bill Haley. That might mean there's a more rock and roll. Elvis, Elvis, come on. Give me an Elvis sign, why not? I don't ask that much. I know I do. Eh. Thought that was a different record for just a moment. Almost made my heart jump. I was wrong. Uh, what is that? I don't know the combo nairs. That looks good. Probably a middling doo wop record, but maybe one side's a rocker. Or maybe it's a rare doo wop. I don't know. Well, all right, I found a couple of 45s there, and I've got to go around the corner because they say there's another store that might have them. Let's go. A few 45s, I think they're all no hopers. Yeah, they're no hopers, or at least not for me. You might like it. If you've got no taste at all, that is. Liberace record. Okay, let's ignore the cheesy music in the background. Let's see what we've got. What? I thought I saw something there for a minute. Nope. Too modern. Except for the Pat Boone. Now buy Pat Boone. Well, okay. Let's go over here to the Spin Connection. It's the place to go in Dallas. Not Dallas, Waco. If you want to look for records, oh, Stan's the owner here and uh, real good folks. They sometimes have things I really like and I better get that phone call. Well, I didn't find anything and I kid you not, I got to talking with Stan in there and I forgot to do any filming. But anyway, it's a good place. Uh, it's mo mostly album-centric. If you like LPs, it's the place in Waco to go. Uh, 45s, there's a few. Uh, sometimes there's more, sometimes less. But I like most places. Really good, good place, good vibe. And they've got some cool vintage stuff. I'm just waiting for a cutting machine to come in so I can expand my empire. I guess that's going to be it for the day. It's after 5. They've rolled up the sidewalks of Waco. And I uh, don't think there's any compounds that are going to be shot at today. So we'll probably avoid most of the traffic and get home. Y'all have fun. Be good. I buy old records. And be sure and tune in and see me again. Thank you. Bye.